Hey guys, it's me, Frank Array. All right, let's talk about the number one most important thing you need to get done and have firmly in place as a loan officer. New loan officer, experienced loan officer, green or seasoned, it doesn't matter, you need this done. We all need to have this done. It's our database. Uh, if you think about it, if you have a well put together database that you've maintained well for let's say years and years of clients uh, you know that you've done repeat business for over and over and over again, you think about that, that's something you take with you no matter where you go. I mean you could take that database and you, if you got out of the loan business and went to selling jet skis, I mean you could let everybody in that business know now you're a jet ski salesperson. You kind of see what I mean? It's like the single most valuable item that you have in your possession as a loan officer is your database. Uh, this is something you could pass down to your family for goodness sake. I mean, let's say you had a child uh, come into the business and then you wanted to retire someday and you had a database of two or 3,000 people, right? <clears throat> you could pass that down to your child. I mean, it's something of true value. It's the most valuable thing you could possibly have in this business. There was a gal that worked at Washington Mutual uh, a few years back. Uh, I think she went to Wells Fargo fairly recently and uh, Leo Shrupp and I actually got to talk to her at one time. This girl was doing, I swear to you, uh, it was a better market obviously, but this girl was doing uh, literally, God, I th she was doing like a, like a hundred loans a month on her own, honest to goodness. She was just making a bloody fortune in the business. And uh, we had an opportunity to ask her, you know, hi, you know, how are you doing this? She goes, oh, I just have my database of 3,000 people and I just stay in touch with them. And that was all she would give us, but that just shows you the power of the database, you know. So when it comes to your database, there's some important things we have to do. Number one is this. We have to keep it in some format, all right? Now, some of you might use Outlook. Some of you might use ACT. Uh, there's other programs out there that you can use for database or contact management. I personally like Think Big, Work Small, um, which you can obtain. Just uh, we'll be getting back to you on how to get that done. But I designed Think Big, Work Small because uh, I designed it to work for me as a loan officer because I, you know, I don't like to learn other programs and try and make them adjust to my needs. I wanted one that was just made for me doing loans, and that's what it is. Okay, so you got to have it in a format. Um, you know, Outlook, Act, uh, Think Big, Work Small, even an Excel spreadsheet is fine. You know what? I don't even care if you got it on three by five cards. Uh, you got to have it together and have it organized. The next thing you've got to do, the most important thing you should do right now or, or today or whenever you get to this database thing is you want to uh, go through that database with a fine tooth comb. Your database needs to be a database of relationships, not a database of mailings. It's not a mailing list. It should be a relationship list. So you want to go through that database and you want to get all the junk out of there. Delete all the people you don't know who the heck they are. They're not going to do business with you because you send them a mailer every six months. Get rid of them, okay? You want everyone in there to be someone that you know. Once you've got that done, then you want to divide them up into categories. A's, B's, C's, okay? B to B's, and if you're not working within Think Big, Work Small, you should have one separated out for your realtor partners. So A's, B's, C's, B to B's, which means business to business, and realtor partners, okay? A clients, what are they? These are clients that just refer you people like crazy. You don't even have to talk to them, they send you people. Those are A's. You probably don't have a lot of those, but our goal is to get a lot of those. B clients, what are they? These are clients that they'll refer you people, you know, if you prod them along, if you remind them, if you ask them, they'll refer you. C clients, what are they? These are people that are never going to refer you a doggone thing. They'll always use you for their personal business, but they're never going to refer you anything because they just don't do that. They don't want to get involved. Okay. B to B, this is business to business. Now, if you don't have any of these, we're going to do another business booster video that's going to teach you all about that coming up soon. But get the, get the group uh, put in your database. Okay, and lastly, of course, your realtor partners. So a good thing to do right now <clears throat> would be to get that database together if it's not together. Get it organized. And if you're an experienced seasoned person, you've got your 500-person database or 1,000-person database. You should really go through that thing and clean it up and make sure these are all people that you know. Okay, um, so that's what you should do. Okay, the next B two B video that I'm going to do is going to is going to uh, show you how to work that database. We'll actually do some working on it. We'll actually make some calls, and you'll hear what I do, how it's worked for me. And I'm going to give you stuff that works, guys. It's stuff that's truly, truly worked for me. Um, and so that's what we'll do next. So first and most importantly, 
Let's get that database together. It's like this. This is step one, man. You may have been in the mortgage business five, six years, and you might not have even accomplished step one. But here's my thoughts. If you can't get step one done, get out. I mean, go get a job. I mean, you know what I mean? You've got to get this done. If you can't get step one done, then we can't build. We can't go on to the next step. So I'm hoping that you'll embrace this. I'm hoping that you'll do it. Trust me. Trust me. It'll work. Okay? All right. Let's get our database. Put together and organized. Get the junk out. Keep the good in. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Okay. Bye. I think big work small. Think big work small. I think big work small. Think big work small.